My work on psychopathy has actually brought more attack against me than any other single topic I have ever touched in all of my research. I was attacked for saying maybe aliens weren't necessarily nice guys and here with our best interests at heart, but that was nothing. That was just basically like uh, a little rabble of people who wanted to believe that being abducted was a good thing. Uh, I've been attacked for some of my conspiracy theory positions, such as 9-11. Uh, but that, you know, that's still, it's, it's, it's minor. I mean, I would get death threats, I would get, you know, hate mail, I would get uh, fundy types who would write, you know, things to me like, you know, what a stupid person you are, you can't see. But usually that was all very low level. It was just like people on the internet or people who were in society who were, who basically just disagreed with me and they didn't have the good manners to do it politely. However, on the topic of psychopathy, when I began writing about that, when I began talking about it, that's when things got really ugly. Um, not only did I receive death threats, there were actual physical actions taken against me and my family. That's one of the reasons I left the United States, because things got physical. My children were harmed physically. Two of them nearly died because of these attacks. Uh, my dog was poisoned. Dead cats were left at my door. Uh, it was really, my name was, my name and address was posted in some news groups on the internet with the suggestion that somebody should come and take care of me. Uh, things got very ugly. And that was because of my work on psychopathy. So the conclusion you can draw from this, I think, is that this is the main thing that the powers in control of our earth do not want people to wake up to and be fully aware of. And the other thing is, is we can talk from now till the cows come home about hyperdimensional manipulations on our planet from aliens or uh, space beings or whatever. But we can't prove that. We don't have some forensic evidence. Well, we're trying to get it, and some people may have a bit or a piece, but it's always easy to discount that. And the thing is, is that their tools, in my opinion, are, and that's my opinion, I can't prove that, the tools of these hyperdimensional forces with designs on humanity are psychopaths and other uh, personality disordered individuals. They are so easy to use. Uh, they're almost like little machines, you know, little destruction machines and that you set down in, in society, wind them up and let them go, and they do exactly all the things that you know, aliens being hyperdimensional beings and unable to hold a frequency within our reality cannot do. These beings do it for them, okay? People talk about new world orders. They talk about all these things, okay, well, and, and aliens being involved with new world orders or there being some kind of an agreement between aliens and governments to control society. Uh, it, that could very well be true. And if it is true, it's because they have psychopaths to use, because normal humans, because of their evolutionary background, wouldn't do to other normal humans the things that these people in power do. Uh, and psychopaths, they have no conscience, they're born that way. We're not talking about something that is just people who are wounded by society. We're talking about a creature that looks human and mimics humanity but in the end is absolutely not human. Who needs aliens when you have psychopaths?